Yeah, good evening, guys. Um, welcome to uh, a pretty warm Durban today. Um, yeah, it's been quite a good day. I hope everybody is doing well. And uh, guys, yeah, there's just something in my heart that I'd like to share with you. Um, it's been in my heart for, for, for a couple of weeks now. Um, and even as I've been preparing this message, um, like I said, it's been on my heart for a couple of weeks. And there's even something that I've had to learn um, uh, before actually preparing this message. And um, yeah, I just feel that um, sometimes we do, even even myself, I need to, need to get a reminder of um, where my help comes from and what to do um, and, and, and who to look for or look to, sorry, um, you know, in, 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 in terms of need and, and despair and things like that. Um, so, so it's a quick message. It's not too long. Um, so I won't keep you any further. Uh, any longer. Um, also, just want to remind you that if you do happen to miss this message, um, I do have a YouTube channel, um, and then I'll just post uh, the recording onto the YouTube channel. You can watch at a later stage. Um, yes, yeah, so let's dive into it. Um, the, the title of my message is Worry to Worship. And so the word worship means to honor or show reference for a divine being or supernatural power. So in other words, worship is an act of attributing reverent honor to God. All right. So in, in, in today's times, there is so much to be anxious and worried about. There's finances, there's family, there's children, there's health, there's the future, there's the past. Um, and the worries can just go on and on and on. And we get so overwhelmed with worry and fear that we actually forget um, to go to God for help. And, it's, and in so doing, we get frustrated, angry, and even depressed. And we feel alone in this huge storm that, that has hit us. And the world, the world and the devil want to keep us in a place of anxiety, worry, and fear. Because if we're in that place, and if we stay in that place, we lose our focus on Jesus, and we get so overwhelmed and tired that we forget to run to our source, who is Jesus Christ. But what does the Bible say about our worries? Let's have a look. 1 Peter 5, verse 6 to 7, it says this, Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that, you, so that at the proper time He may exalt you, casting all your anxieties on Him, because He cares for you. Here, Peter encourages us to give all, not some, all of our worries to God. Why? Because God knows what to do with our worry. God can give us the strength and the peace to be able to deal with our worries of this life. Here are a few ways that might, um, that might help us turn our worries into worship. Number one, your focus determines your direction. Anytime our heart and mind are fixed and focused on the 1,000 things that are ultimately that we have no control over, you are determining the direction of your life. Your life eventually becomes all about the things that you worry about. They end up occupying your thoughts, your decisions, and your actions. You have sleepless nights, and, and it becomes a real mess. And getting, work, and getting worked up only leaves you empty-handed and broken-hearted. So Matthew, let's look at Matthew 14, verse 25 to 31. It says this, About three o'clock in the morning, Jesus came toward them, walking on the water. When the disciples saw him on the water, they were terrified. In fear, they cried out, It's a ghost. But Jesus spoke to them at once. Don't be afraid, he said. Take courage. I am here. Then... Then Peter called to him, Lord, if it is really you, tell me to come walking on the water. Yes, come, Jesus said. So Peter went over the side of the boat and walked on water towards Jesus. But when he saw the strong winds and waves, he was terrified and began to sink. Save me, Lord, he shouted. Jesus immediately reached out and grabbed him. You have so little faith, Jesus said. Why did you doubt me? 
You see, as long as Peter's focus was on Jesus, he kept walking on the water and walking towards towards Jesus. And he had peace in the middle of the storm that was going on around him. But the minute Peter took his eyes off Jesus and started focusing on the storm, instead, he was consumed with fear, worry, and doubt. And he started sinking. And a lot of the time, this happens to us. Okay, we're not walking on water in the storm, but we are focused on... Um, but we are focused on Jesus in the mountain season, but then a valley season hits and life happens and obstacles come and giant comes along. A storm of life begins and our focus changes from Jesus to the storm and we become overwhelmed with fear and worry. And before we know it, our life is spiraling out of control. I want to encourage you tonight to keep focusing your attention on Jesus. Make Him the one you look to and look for. Fix your heart and mind on Him and your life will follow. Your attention will determine your direction. When you start with and stay with Jesus as the person of your affection and attention, your life will be drawn more and more to Him. Look for Looking for and looking to Jesus turns your worry into worship. Number two, pray to God. Philippians 4 verse 67, Paul writes this, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Don't be anxious about anything. It's easier said than done. And a lot of the time, a lot of the time, and probably not something you necessarily want to hear when you are wound up in worry. But God is offering and offering you another way, a gentler way, a kinder way, a way that leads to peace. When you find yourself beginning to drift in the wrong direction, God invites you to redirect your thoughts and fears to him turn your inner monologue into an open dialogue with god let him let him in but bring in your worries to him the simplest way is just to be real with our father he is our loving father he wants a relationship with you and he wants to hear your worries bring it to him lay it at his feet and say god this is what i'm worried about it doesn't matter how big or how small it can be, to, to God, no matter how big or small it is, he's, ta- he's going to take care of you because you are his child. Give, number three, give thanks to God. Philippians, again, Philippians 4 verse 67, it says this, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. By giving thanks to God, for what he has already done for us reminds of our, of reminds us of how faithful he has already been in our lives <clears throat> but also gives us the confidence and the faith that if he's done it once for us he'll do it again and it shifts our focus and our direction back to god when we go from beat, we, when we go from beaten down to to filled up, and as we change direction back to God, He promises us He will give us peace and rest in the midst of chaos. He will guard you, He will guard you, He will cover you, and He will carry you with His righteous right hand. Matthew eleven verse twenty eight to twenty nine says this. Then Jesus said, "Come to me, all of you." who are weary and carry heavy burdens. Not some of you. It says all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Let me teach you, because I am humble and gentle at heart, and you will find rest for your soul. So he's inviting us. No matter matter what we are facing, 
if we carry burdens, which we all do, and we and we are and we and we are weary, which we all can become, he's inviting you to 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 to, to lay it on him, give it, put it at his feet, and he will give rest to your souls. So, in closing, we ultimately have a choice to make. All right, we can either reject God's invitation to not worry. And worry our way through life and experience no peace, or we can accept God's invitation to not worry and worship our way through life and experience His peace and hardship. But it's a choice. We have to choose either one. We can't worry and worship and, and, and worship God. So we've got to hand it over to Him. And we've got to make that conscious decision daily, not just not just once and then it's 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 done. Daily, we have to make that decision. Are we going to worry or are we going to follow Christ? Are we going to hand it over to Jesus? Worry and worship are two very different things. We worry about things beyond our control. Worship reminds us that Jesus is in control. Worry is mind divided, pulled in many directions. Worship is a mind fixed on Jesus. Worry is an expression of doubt. Worship is an expression of trust. Worry momentarily forgets what Jesus has done. Worship remembers what Jesus has done. Worry excludes Jesus from internal conversations. Because when we when we when we're overwhelmed by worry, and we've lost our focus on Jesus, we don't talk to Jesus. We keep him out of our conversation. Worship invites Jesus into our eternal conversations. Worry causes our spirit to sink, just like Peter did when he was walking on the water. The minute he took his focus off Jesus, he became worried and doubtful and he started to sink. Worship causes our spirit to soar. Worshipping Jesus and taking, taking up our, our, our worries of this world and lay it, in, lay it at his feet is a powerful weapon that weakens the power of worry. So I want to leave you with this one last verse as I, as, I, as, I, as I finish off. Joshua 1 verse 9, it says this. This is my command. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. So I just want to encourage you tonight. Turn your worry into worship. God is for you. He loves you. And he will help you and he will guide you through whatever trial or tribulation you are going through at this present moment. Guys, have a blessed evening. And once again, if you've missed this message, you are more than welcome to go and have a look at my YouTube channel. I will be putting it on uh, shortly. Um, for you. you can even subscribe to my channel uh, for more encouragement. Yeah, have a blessed evening. Cheers. Bye.